India has attracted the highest ever foreign direct investment inflows at $67.54 billion during the first nine months of financial year 2020-21. With this, total FDI flows were 22% higher during April to December 2020, compared to $55.14 billion in the corresponding period last year as per an official release. It grew nearly 19% after declining around 3% in the previous two matching periods. In the largest ever acquisition made in the history of the company, Wipro has signed a definitive agreement to acquire London headquartered management and technology consultancy company Capco, which provides digital, consulting and technology services to financial institutions in the Americas, Europe and the Asia-Pacific region. The acquisition is an all-cash deal and is expected to be completed during the quarter ending June 30th. Indian Americans are taking over the country, US President Joe Biden said on Thursday, referring to the high number of people from the community getting a place in his administration. In less than 50 days of his presidency, Biden has appointed at least 55 Indian Americans to key leadership positions in his administration ranging from his speechwriter to the NASA to almost every wing of the government. Online e-commerce company Flipkart is mulling its initial public offering in the US through a special purpose acquisition company. The Walmart-owned company has been considering its US listing for quite some time and is now considering other options to quicken the process, Bloomberg reported citing sources. India witnessed the highest number of internet shutdowns in the year 2020. As per a report, India has topped the list of 29 countries that disrupted internet access for people in 2020. Most of the incidents took place in India, some of the Middle Eastern countries and some parts of Africa. A total of 155 internet shutdowns were imposed globally, out of which India had 109 shutdowns. Google has said that it will phase out the third-party cookies, but once that it is done, it would not replace the cookies with any other tracking tech. The search giant mentioned in the blog that it will not build alternate identifiers to track individuals when they browse the web, nor will they be used in any of the Google products. So far, Mozilla, Firefox and Apple Safari have already made their plans to phase out third-party cookies official.